we're gearing up, we're packing up for our body sex retreats in upstate New York, second week in June. Um, the dates are below and I'm bringing the vulva mirror. And this mm. mirror has been in every workshop Betty and I did together. Um, there's always almond oil all over the sides. And it is, it's interesting, you know, objects do hold energy and I always feel good holding it, cleaning it and packing it up. And I imagine, God, a few thousand women have seen their vulva reflected in this image. I remember feeling so nervous at my first workshop, you know, when I was like displaying my vulva in front of that very mirror. (laughs) 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 But it was the most healing. I was so nervous at the beginning, but then I just felt, I don't know, just so it was a release. You know, I felt so proud. I felt so connected to my vulva and also connected to all of the other women that were in the circle. Looking at images of real vulvas with a group of women is healing in a way I can't completely explain. Mm -hmm. And when I look at Betty and her life and how full and her longevity... (laughs) that she made it to 91 and she wasn't without health issues, but somehow none of it touched her. And I remember asking her the last genital show and tell if it ever got boring. And she said, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And it's not, it's not a sexual thing. It's, it's a different kind of bonding at a whole other level. It's a sharing of intimacy It's a sharing of vulnerability in such a deep way uh, that that I've never experienced anywhere else in any other situation. I I think it's all of us appreciating the beauty Mm -hmm. in in our sex organ and a part of our body that's maligned and diminished by the culture. Mm -hmm. And when we step out into the light and we are witnessed, And the women always have positive things to say. No one has ever said a negative thing. And I have never seen an ugly vulva. Everyone is so beautiful. And it's always a surprise, right? You never know. It can be, you know, this tiny little petite woman with a huge clit. You know, it can be like, you know, the different colors and the shapes of the labia and just the way everything is arranged. It's just always so exquisite. It's it's just such a beautiful revealing.